Before leaving home for his inauguration at the Oluyemi Kayode Stadium, Dr. Ayo Fayoshi did not forget this. I left on the 16th of October 2006. Men conspire, but in your wisdom, October 16, eight years after today, in the same stadium, in the same state, made it possible for me to be celebrated again. This glory can only go to you. I bow down before you. I worship you, Lord. Have mercy upon my soul. Forgive my iniquity. Have mercy upon me. Amen. The sin of the leader is the sin of the people. Every sin that will bring this state to judgment. Forgive me, O Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the God of heaven, this lady state shall witness a turn around in my time in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I give you the praise. Hallelujah. It is well. Amen. It is well. Amen. I will govern your people. I will administer them in your perfect way. Amen. The spirit of vengeance, you will take it away. Amen. Because vengeance belongs unto you. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. To the inauguration ground. As usual, Fayoshi's convoy halted for the cheering public. In a jeep, they sought him, but he was in an old Mercedes Benz car. Ten after ten, the people were pleasantly surprised. The use of the old Mercedes-Benz car was only symbolic of the humility and contentment that would mark the governor out in his second coming. They followed him into the stadium, shouting his pet name. Coming out of their car required a great effort from the first couple. The crowd surged as each person tried to have a better sight of the governor and his wife. After singing the anthems of Nigeria, Ekiti State, and that of the PDP, the oath-taking process began in earnest. I, Dr. Kolapo Lugumi Olushola, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, Deputy Governor. So help me God. Then the turn of the Governor. 
Bita Ayodele Fabio Che. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will preserve. That I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. When he took the stage, he asked the public to remember those who paid the supreme price along the eight-year political journey, including the most recent. May the soul of our brother Omulafia Adeli rest the peace. He introduced some APC members who had defected to the People's Democratic Party from the Ekiti State House of Assembly. Honorable Onowo Adiboye, representing Oyotu. Honorable Adeboye, Adeninka Ikolewa. Honorable Abeni, Olayinka Adotu. Honorable Watubi Olakide. The PDP national chairman, Alhaji Adamu Mwazu, received the new PDP converts. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is with great humility that I stand before you today to welcome my brothers and my sister to the great party of the People's Democratic Party. These are members of the State Assembly that have agreed and have seen the light to come into the great party, the PDP. I am sure a lot of others in the following days, weeks and months, will see their wisdom and follow suit. I therefore want to thank you for coming, for your decision. This party, I assure you, is yours. We will take good care of you. From today, you are as good as me to join the PDP from its formative age. I therefore guarantee you free and fair primaries. And for those of you that are saying, God will you, you will get our ticket. God bless you. The governor's inaugural speech. My kind of history is divine. A history that will take a while to surpass. By the grace of God, I'm the first son of the state to be governor here twice. I'm the first Nigerian politician to defeat two incumbents at two different attempts. You will recall that I took both. For the first time, May 29, 2003, as the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party after defeating the then incumbent and his party, the Alliance for Democracy. For my fellowship, to everyone that participated in the last election, I call on the heart. 
modern equity is poised to rescue the state from its doldrum and lift it to the next level. If you watch very well, equity has been battling with my removal. They could not find peace until God brought me back. And when the God said to me, when I get to stand up today, I should say from my heart that I have forgiven equity for removing me on trust me. And I should declare peace, prosperity on the kitchen. Amen. And today I declare peace, Amen. prosperity, Amen. progress, Amen. employment, Amen. food, stomach infrastructure. After their loss at the June 21 governorship election, the APC credited Fioshe's victory to what they called his Tomac infrastructure strategy. I will dedicate myself to your service. I will banish hunger in your midst. I will work hard to put food on your table. Whether yeah. they call it stomach infrastructure, that is their business. Because I'm going to appoint a special advisor for stomach infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, you can put that on the road. If I don't have a car, I'm hungry. My children can go to school. That car is meaningless when you are hungry. Turning our road is wonderful, but putting food inside this stomach is very, very, very important. Already, I am grooming your chicken. For Christmas. <laughs> and I'm getting your rice ready to do stomach in front. <laughs> his words remain his bond. GDP power! We want to come back in two years' time to commission both state and federal government projects in this state. Dr. 
problems that are going on, people are not paid salary. 